So today I am in Mayfair, one of the most expensive places to live in London and a brilliant place to work with over a hundred different financial institutions such as Bain Capital, Raymond James, Houlihan Loki, RBC. Not only that, there's loads of different restaurants, loads of different places to live and today I'm going to talk you through all of the best places you should be looking into when thinking of moving to Mayfair. So Mayfair is actually a very historical place. The reason it's called Mayfair is because back in the 1800s, there used to be a fair in May in this area, Mayfair. It's sort of, it doesn't really exist anymore, but that's where the name originated from, Mayfair. It's an extremely expensive place to live. Average rental payments per week is 27,500. And if you look at the average salary in Mayfair, it's 32,000. Now, the reason why the average salary in Mayfair is so low in comparison to the Canary Wharf or City of London is because not only is there loads of different financial institutions in Mayfair, but there's also quite a lot of retail shops because there's Bond Street. So if we look at the location of Mayfair, it's right next to Bond Street, it's right next to Piccadilly Circus. And as a result, it means that this, the average salary is brought quite low down. But there's lots of different financial firms. There's also a lot of different car shops. So you've got Bentley here, you've got Lotus, you've got Rolls Royce, loads of different ones. It's a very interesting place and a lot of construction going on too. Now, if you're quite interested in the financial industry and that's where you're currently aiming at working, Mayfair has a lot of different advisors here. So we have the likes of Houlihan Loki, which is a very big financial advisory firm which serves lots of different private equity companies, mid-market mainly. We also have the likes of Raymond James, which is a wealth management firm. They are quite large and they also once again provide private equity companies with a lot of due diligence. There's also a private equity company called Bain Capital in Mainfair. Now this is quite, it's a mid-market sized private equity company, also a brilliant place to work. However, obviously there's a lot of financial firms based in Mayfair, but the downside is there isn't really many placement opportunities. So if you're an internship or a placement student and you're looking at wanting to work in Mayfair, there's not really gonna be any opportunities for you. These are mainly professional opportunities. You must have had experience in investment banking, in private equity, in consultancy, being the big four. So you're not really gonna find any placement roles here at all. But that being said, you can definitely find just regular work experience here. You could contact Houlihan, you could contact Raymond James, and they will probably offer you some work experience unpaid, but it's very expensive to live in Mayfair. Very, very expensive. Now, even if you do manage to land yourself a job in Mayfair, I would strongly recommend you not to try to live in Mayfair because Mayfair being one of the most expensive places to live in London means that the average house price here is 3.7 million. They are quite large Georgian style buildings, which if you're even working at Lazard, Houlihan, one of the advisors, you still would not have enough money to be able to afford to live in one of these places. So I strongly recommend staying away from Mayfair as a place to live, despite it being very easy to get into the office. Now, what I would recommend is potentially living further out, maybe being one tube stop away, so you can be on the Jubilee line or on the Piccadilly line or even just locating yourself beyond Hyde Park or beyond Bond Street because not only is that going to be a lot cheaper for you and you're going to be able to afford to live there, it's also not going to be as busy because I'm currently in Mayfair on the weekend and it's extremely busy. There is a lot of people out and about and the reason for this is because it borders Bond Street and Oxford Street which means there is a lot, a lot of tourists visiting the area and as someone who lives in London, I can definitely tell you that the amount of people does get on my nerves quite a lot and I do try to actively avoid Bond Street. So if you can live somewhere outside of Mayfair, you'll save yourself a lot of money and you'll save yourself a lot of stress from the really annoying London tourists. Now, because this is such a wealthy area in London, they have tried to cater for this as much as possible by sticking some very expensive car garages in the centre, so in Berkeley Square, where I currently am now, we have the likes of Bentley, Porsche, Lotus, and Ferrari just in this one area. Now, if I was to expand out slightly down Berkeley Square, down the road, we'd also come across Rolls Royce 
and Lamborghini. There is really quite a lot of money in this area, for sure. And the reason for this is because you have so many people, investment bankers, advisors, coming to this area wanting to spend a lot of money. And not only that, it's quite a good place to invest your money because of the super high property prices here. So quite a lot of these buildings are actually not full. If you lot are quite interested in the private equity space or just generally living in London, I'd highly recommend you giving my Instagram page, Future, a follow. This is where you can access a private equity course. This is where you can find lots of different, more information on private equity, on what it's like to live in London. So if you're quite interested in that space and want to find out a little bit more, please give it a follow and also join the Facebook group where I post quite regularly on how to live in London. Now with any corporate job that you're gonna work, you're gonna need a really good suit. And in Mayfair, they cater for this with the very famous Savile Row. So Savile Row is on the east side of Mayfair and they provide lots of different tailor, tailored suits, really for the ultra rich. I mean, if you are a placement student, I would not recommend you going to Savile Row because you quite frankly wouldn't be able to afford the suits there. Definitely go to either Next or suitstailor.com or for some a lot cheaper suits, but this is Savile Row. Super nice, super expensive suits. They've got everything from shoes, ties, trousers, the full, everything you need to dress up really smart for work. So there's some very nice and different suits down Savile Row. I mean, as you come down from the bottom of Savile Row, you are presented with New Bond Street. This is where you have the likes of Ralph Lauren, Tiffany & Co, Montclair, lots of different expensive retail brands. There's also a shop we just walked past called Watch Club. They had a really good collection of Rolexes in there. So New Bond Street is quite new, uh, hence the name, and it has a lot of expensive shops to go to. Most of these shops are by appointment only, so you can only get in there if you basically have enough money. And that's why you'll see all of these Rolls Royce, Bentleys, lots of different posh cars outside of the shops. But it's generally a very, very nice area. And as you can see, it is also extremely busy. It being a Saturday, it being a bank holiday weekend, seems to bring everyone out. But there is lots of things to do in Mayfair. There's lots of shopping to do. You can go to work here. You can pretty much do quite a lot, but it just depends whether you like it this busy because it's pretty much busy every single day. So not only does this place have literally everything here, everything you're ever going to need, but at a very high cost, it's also very well connected. So at the north of Mayfair, you have Bond Street, which has a lot of different tube stations. So you've got the likes of the Jubilee Line, you've got the Piccadilly Line, You've even got the Elizabeth line coming into that one. And then if you go south of Mayfair, you have Green Park. And Green Park has Jubilee, Piccadilly, and Centreline. So it's very well connected area, and you can get to this area very, very easily. So if you do need to live even quite far out of Mayfair, it's not gonna be very difficult to find a tube station to get you into this area and to get you to walk. I mean, if, even if you do want need to work in the middle of Mayfair, it's not going to be a long walk. It's probably going to be 10, 15 minutes. So this area really does have everything you're ever going to need. And this area is absolutely littered with bikes that you can go on. With this area being such an expensive place to live and having quite a lot of big financial institutions, it is and does have quite a lot of interesting hotels. So one of the most expensive ones in this area is called the Dorchester. Very expensive, lots of nice cars out there. And this one I'm currently just walking past is also a very expensive hotel that you can go stay in. So this area is really very expensive and definitely a place to stay away from if you like your money, for sure. So all in all, this is a very cool place to live. It has everything you need. It has lots of different financial institutions. It even has retail jobs on the top of Bond Street. So you've got Selfridges, which has a lot of different shops in there. So there's no shortage of jobs here at all. And there's no shortage of places to live, but it is extremely expensive with the 3.7 million pounds to buy in this area and 27,000 pounds per week to rent. So. 
definitely an area to come to if you have quite a lot of money and if you can afford this area but if you're an intern or a placement student this is probably a place which you should definitely avoid and just not come to because you simply will not be able to afford to live in this area but i hope you've enjoyed this video please watch the other ones in my series so i toured around canary wharf and i toured around the city of london as a place to work so please check those out and please check all the links in my bio so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video